Snakey Bus on the surface looks like a simple, fun take on the classic game of Snake, where the player controls a moving line that increases in size the more it collects bits and pieces of itself littered throughout a screen. But in truth, Snakey Bus goes far beyond the typical considerations for a Snake clone, evolving into something much more multifaceted and, of course, very fun. The ability to return to Snakey Bus effortlessly, just to play a few rounds in a few different locations, makes it one of the most approachable games I can think of. Highly simple controls and a very simple concept, as well as a sort of minimalist aesthetic, I guess. Snakey Bus has that consistency in a game that makes it feel like a solid arcade cabinet you want to blow all your quarters at, while also being the perfect game to mellow out to and kill time with. With an incredibly simple menu system, Sneaky Bus is designed to get a map loaded and a line of carriages growing almost immediately. There's a few modes to choose from, where the player can play with modified rules and modified locations, but for the most part, the main meat of the game is the high score mode that, again, is basically just like Snake. The player navigates a collection of buses from highlighted point to point, collecting more and more passengers as they go, and thus increasing the number of trailing buses. It's fun and simple on the outset, but as the player's size increases to crazier and crazier lengths, it becomes a greater challenge to navigate and continue growing. At a certain point, you'll be stumbling over looping pathways and trying to find the slimmest gap for your bus to sneak through. Each map, or level, has many interesting oddities going for it, with some being somewhat crude depictions of famous cities, while others are simply abstract spaces designed to play towards the physics and mechanics of the game. Either way though, the goal of finding out just how long you can make your cavalcade of public transit never ceases to be fun and dynamic, but never too unapproachable that it becomes, you know, too much or something like that. Sneaky Bus' biggest talent is its multifaceted way of playing, like how at one point you can really be clamoring for a high score on a particular stage, or completely relaxing and barely even paying attention to the game at all. Its public domain sounding soundtrack also has the ability to be easily drowned out with almost anything, or be the stuff of lullaby legends. Other fun aesthetic nods include the ability to absolutely obliterate bus stops and to see passengers stream in through the air like homing missiles. The developers clearly had a lot of fun with this game. There's no doubt that the labor in this game was almost entirely focused on designing the physics and the overall limitations of the game itself, to the point where it seems like in the endless mode, there's this never-ending mountain driving area place that you can virtually drive through indefinitely. I mean, that is kind of the point of the endless mode, I guess. It shows a level of understanding of the game's mechanics and premise, that part of the game is knowing how to control and simply drive the bus itself, not even just to look for the next target or change direction or something like that. I think that's part of the blissfulness of the game. The rigid yet loose control of the bus really makes the game have a refined but laid back feel. It's just a good time, and the fact that it can be played in seemingly so many different ways makes its versatility as a game feel rewarding. While Snakey Bus might initially look boring or uninteresting, it's actually quite the opposite. In so many ways, it fulfills roles beyond what you might assume the game would do. I highly, highly recommend it.